Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This week I'm going to be doing another Excel tutorial and it's going to be all about your wedding budget. So this is how I personally kept my wedding budget organized, which was very helpful for me. Just a very quick background on myself. I do have an accounting background, so I am extremely familiar with Excel and with spreadsheets and budgets. So this is just me sharing my knowledge with you guys. If you have any questions, as always, please leave them down below. I also want to quickly say that my husband is a personal trainer. And if you guys want to see a video on tips and anything like that as far as getting in shape for your wedding, please let me know and what kind of questions you would like to ask down below and maybe I can get him to do a video for you guys. So without further further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start with a blank Excel spreadsheet. And I'm just going to go ahead and type in kind of like the basics of what my spreadsheet is going to look like. So uh, first thing I'm going to do in row maybe 5B, my first category is going to be reception slash ceremony. And within that section, I'm going to have food and service. This is what I personally did on mine. So this includes meals, open bar. I did have an open bar at my wedding. Um, anything that like vendor meals, stuff like that. So you could just make little notes. Um, in this section, I also included the parking for my guest and the rehearsal dinner. So this is going to look, it's pretty much a rough draft. I'll go ahead and edit it after this. I'm going to skip a line and the next section is going to be attire, which will include wedding dress and alterations, a veil, headpiece, tiara, whatever um, you think you're going to use, bride's accessories, uh, wedding, hair and makeup, and I also have the groom's, oops, excuse me, groom's suit, tux, whatever it is that you're using. And that's it for that section. I believe those are all the categories that I had. Now we're going to go ahead and format this. Again, in my last video, uh, double click the edge of your column right here to fit it to the width of what you wrote in. Uh, next, I'm going to go ahead and make some titles. Um, I'm going to have a percentage. And I'll, this will all make sense. <laughs> I'm going to have budget and then actual and then a notes section. At the top, I'm going to have, let's just make a quick title, wedding budget. And then uh, I'm going to have a total budget line at the top. Uh, the wedding budget, it's kind of the heading for the whole spreadsheet. So I'm going to go ahead and select the whole top row, maybe to like H and then merge the cell and it's gonna just make it one nice big um, heading. Now, um, for each category, these are subcategories per se. So anything under reception and ceremony, I'm gonna highlight. And if you notice, um, this little arrow right here is an indent arrow. So if you click it, it's just gonna indent those uh, that list a little bit to the right so um, it's clearly a subcategory. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same with all of the other categories so that it's just visually appealing to you when you're looking at this. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and select all of my titles and center them. And I'm going to bold the letters and make the writing slightly bigger, maybe a 14. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to go ahead and do the same with my title. Next thing I'm going to do is outlines. So this looks like an actual table. So select everything in your selection. 
and then um, if you right click you can select format cells and you're gonna go to border and I'm just gonna do a regular border around the outline and the inside and select OK and that's gonna do that for you. Now, so I'm just gonna add some color. I'm gonna do a color for each of my categories. And again, I'm just select using the command key or control key to select more than one thing at a time. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the same for this. And the note section, I'm actually going to select all of these and I'm going to merge so that I have a bigger um, area where I could actually take notes. So I'm going to do that with the following and then if you, once you have formatted one, if you wanna copy the same format all the way down, go ahead and select this cell and um, do this little plus sign in the very corner and just drag down. And it's going to format that whole row for you. And then what I'm gonna do is actually in the budget, between the budget and actual, I'm gonna select this and I'm going to format cells. Border, I'm gonna make the left border a little bit thicker so that it kind of separates them a little bit, just like that. And then I'm also gonna change the font. I'm gonna select the whole thing. I like the Century Gothic. I just like the look of it. And then go ahead and double click your columns to fit everything together. So there you go. Now the actual percentages, I know this is going to be um, a question. The percentage I'm gonna go ahead and enter are pretty much uh, percentages based on what I spent. Obviously these can be changed to whatever you're planning. If you're planning to spend more money in other areas, then you can just edit this as you go along. But for example, my reception and ceremony was about 60% of my entire budget. So I'm gonna enter the number 60 and I'm gonna click the percentage sign right here. Oh, it actually, so I'll go ahead and do 60%. My attire was about 7%. So again, I'm gonna format that as seven. I don't know why that's making it 700, but my flowers and um, my flowers were 7.5% and my coordinator was 5.8%. Uh, but since I did this in one, hmm, so let me separate these out so that it's not confusing for you guys. So I'm gonna insert a cell above this or two of them and then I'm gonna make another title coordinator and um, there you go so the flowers again were 7.5 percent I think it's gonna do that again and then see how mine rounded up? If it does that, go ahead and click this decimal. Um, you're gonna see this decimal place where you can move it over or under. So you can move your how many decimal places it shows. So I moved it one to the left, so it's gonna show that 0.5% rather than rounding up. The coordinator, like I said, was 5.8. Uh, again, I'm gonna make that a percentage and move the decimal point. My photographer was about 9.8%. I know that these are very specific, but you can round up to whole numbers so that it um, is a little bit easier in the beginning, but these are just the exact percentages that I spent. My stationery was 2%, which was just my supplies. And gift and favors, um, this honestly, uh, 
I'll talk about that in a minute. But my music was about 1%. And then um, if you at the bottom do a sum formula, so it's equals sum. And you're going to go ahead and select this whole row. And we're going to do this so that you don't go over 100%. So right now my totals are 93%, as you can tell. So I have 7% of my budget that I can allocate to different things that you want. So if you want your music percentage to be higher, then you can allocate more budget to that. So I'm going to leave this. Um, I'm going to do 1% for my gifts and favors. And then I have 6% to play with um, in the future. So you're going to enter the percentages. And let's say that my total budget was, I don't know, $20,000. So enter $20,000 and you can format this $20,000 as monetary. So you can do um, just click the little money sign and it'll do $20,000. Now if you want to know how much specifically for the reception and attire and all of that stuff, you're going to do enter in formulas that are going to calculate it for you. So, oops, under the budget, you're going to do the equal sign. The equal sign is always going to start a function for you. And what we're going to do is do 60% of 20,000. So in this case, you're going to click the 20,000 box times 60% and you're going to do enter. So as you can tell, $12,000 will be allocated to the reception and ceremony. Now you're going to do this all the way down. So again, for the attire, you're going to do equals 20,000 times 7%. So your attire is going to be $1,400 and that's it. So now you know how much money you can spend on each category. So as you go along, once you start meeting with your vendors and you get actual amounts that you're going to be spending, then go ahead and type them into your actual column. And um, another thing that we can do is actually select everything under actual and budget and select the monetary so that everything, it, um, as you type stuff in, it comes up um, as a monetary value. So next thing we're going to do is enter in a formula so that when you're entering the actual amounts, you can see how that compares to your budget. So under the actual column uh, directly next to your budget under reception and ceremony, we're going to enter a formula of a sum. So you're going to equals sum and go ahead and select everything under that subcategory and then close parentheses. So if I know, for example, that my food um, is going to be $9,000, and you're typing in an actual amount, like you know for a fact that it's gonna be that much, go ahead and enter 9,000, and it's gonna tell you where you're at compared to your budget of the 12,000 for this category specifically. So we're gonna go ahead and do that for all of our categories. So again, equals sum, and add everything up under that category. Right now it's gonna have pretty much zero. Okay, so I did that all the way down. If you notice my, um, like I said earlier in the video, these percentages pertain to my specific budget and you notice that my ceremony music was pretty low, 1%. Um, I did spend um, more than 20,000, so it was more than $200. But our DJ was actually a friend of ours, so we didn't pay for that. The only thing that we had was ceremony music, which was like under $400, I believe. But, um, you know, you have this contingency, which 6% of your budget isn't allocated to anything yet. So if you know your music is going to be more expensive, you can change these percentages. For example, if it was 4%, and it's going to, since you put in that formula, it's automatically going to change your amount to the 800 or what the new amount would be. So now you have 3% more that you can use. Let's say that you want to spend 3% on gifts and favors. Um... So again, that's how you can change the percentages and it's going to keep your budget on track because all of the formulas are going to add everything up for you.
Now, um, another thing I'm going to do is this is your budget, the 20000 Next to it, I'm going to have a sum of your actual budget so that you know how much you're spending overall. So we're going to do another sum formula in this box, and we're going to do equals sum again, and I'm going to select all of the top um, line of each category because that's adding up anything that's under their subcategories. So again, to select multiple lines that aren't together or multiple cells that aren't um, together, you're going to press the command or control key, and you're going to go ahead and select all of those, the top line of each category. And then once you've done that, close the parentheses and click enter. So let's say if you're looking at this budget up here, right now it's only adding 9,000 because it's the only thing that I've entered as an actual amount. If I have spent, for example, $1,000 on my dress, it's going to automatically um, sum up how much I've spent in this category specifically. And it's also... Um, going to sum up how much I spent of my total budget. But anyways, that is pretty much it. I hope this helps you guys. It's pretty simple once you um, kind of format this and get it going. You can customize this however you'd like if you know for a fact that you're going to be spending more money or you know certain categories or certain areas of your wedding are more important to you and you want to allocate more budget to that. You can just adjust these percentages. So... If you guys have any questions, as always, please leave them down below and let me know if you have any questions for my husband. Again, he is a personal trainer and um, I will get him to do a video for you guys on tips and anything like that, questions that you may have for getting in shape for your wedding. So that is it for today. I will go ahead and see you guys in my next video and have a great rest of your week. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.